is our first landing in Greenland and we get to see this beautiful glacier and everywhere we are I'm looking up because everything is so big here. And An iceberg comes from a glacier and the glaciers are always moving. An iceberg is just a broken off part that floats usually in the water. Ice has a hardness of about one, which is extremely low, very soft. So when the glacier advances over this area, the glacier brought down rocks with it. And the rocks that are held within the ice did all the erosion. And the erosion in this case is called abrasion. And those might just be segregations of uh, whole rock, uh, country rock that were pulled up into the granite or stoked off into the magma chamber. You can see the striations from the glacier a lot better than you can on the granite. The granite, you can, they're gonna get lost in here quite a bit, but this is much softer and it's been weathered out a little bit. And you can see the direction of the glacier flow here with all these nice scratch marks. And I think it's really cool that we have teachers here and it's not just like we're traveling but it's the entire classroom, it's our schooling, it's expedition, we're learning and it's a huge experience. Greenland, the whole coast of Greenland is impacted by the, the Greenland current. Um, and the Labrador current, which is warmer water coming up along this coast. So that the combination of the warmer ocean water and these very long uh, sheltered uh, fjords means there's a microclimate here that all these plants and all these bugs can survive in. Présentement, on est à Paradise Valley, un endroit où il y a des Vikings qui vivaient ici. Je me tiens présentement dans la maison d'un Viking. What we're doing is standing in the ruins of a Norse site that was established approximately 1000 AD, maybe a little later. Just to show you how much southern influence there is in this part of, of Greenland, is there's a tree, a spruce tree, just over the other side there. You have to wade through a, a valley of willows and mosquitoes to get to it. Yeah, my friends. I feel happy for I miss him so much. <laughs> we just arrived in Greenland on a port and we're walking around a little town and it's so pretty and it's interesting to see all the little um, museums that they have that show like different types of their culture. So uh, we listen to some awesome music. Yeah, we listen to like a rock band, some local native music. Mena Wirton G U C C I N F my Agatech first class F L Y. Many presentations, yeah, like Michael was saying. Also from our group as well. Yeah. So I mean we got a whole variety of culture today. <laughs> Yeah.